Hey there ladies and gents, so in my last video I covered the different types of walkers that I've been creating um, just got one or two there in shot um, so there was a the simple spider, the robot R-O-W bot and the little stomper as well um, one of my little ideas as I was going past them was uh, just to see how far I could actually take this one it's a simple motor, it just rotates and it takes a step for those who haven't seen that video I'll just figure out my keys okay so the motor runs in reverse and when it rotates round as you can see it very simply takes a step the whole object gets lifted and it steps forward that simple so what I was going to figure about doing is how many of these could I stick together and would it work and da -da, there it is I've gone with the four um, just because it's big <laughs> and it's kind of symmetrical as well um, currently it works as left side and then right side um, these motors aren't zigzagged in any way um, by the connections because this side runs clockwise let's say and this side runs uh, counterclockwise or it runs the opposite way so you can't group them together because the motors are facing different ways but yes this is it the really big version um, yeah I guess I'll jump into it but the solar panels are there for aesthetics really the batteries run it but I'm also on creative so I've got infinite power anyway um, but in a non-creative world survival that's the one it would probably work because it doesn't use much power so if I just get the view out and it works like with one before when I press two and three it runs the motors on either side I'll hopefully I've got the right way around yes I have uh, get rid of that but as you can see each step works in motion sort of number one and three work together as they are one and three and then two and four um, this helps cover more distance faster but again it's keeping the whole design very simple and like almost bug like I'll jump out of it why not so as you can see it takes step after step after step it's actually pretty quick considering its size but again it's simple in nature through function anyway just the motors going round and round um, to build it was a bit tedious um, but it's working really nicely and this is probably the simplest most complicated walker you could make to get the legs synchronized what I do was turn them all on and then reduce the torque on the group so the first two were grouped together I didn't physically group them but I controlled click them together and then reduce the torque until it falls in the right pattern and then did this to the rest to make them fall into sync to get this nice continuous walk out of it so if I just jump back in so from the front there as you can see your nice constant motion um, to steer it it's powered by gyros again you can try and vary the motors but again that throws everything out of sync that's what I've got on the keys that I've got to set up one to four that I could actually rotate them but it kind of ruins the effect and does, does make things go pretty bad um, so I've got some gyros just on the bottom there and of course whilst in motion you just give it a little tweak it doesn't like being flung around um, but it's happy to plod along if I can get it turned I might try and get it to go uphill it is capable of going up certain gradients um, you know at a certain point the grip is lost and my computer is lagging ooh two frames a second like that um, but yeah at a certain point grip is lost it's not tractioned wheels although I wonder if I can stick wheels on to give it a bit more traction hey ho and yeah it, it does just keep going and going as much as it can as you can see now the the rate of step has changed it has got a bit slower but hey it's going to keep going up the hill best it can um, considering its simplicity um, it can bring up the speed but again bringing up the speed throws the weight which reduces traction in some cases but not always so as you can see the steps are changing there but it is slowly but surely making its way up the hill and it's a fairly steep gradient so if I put it level as you can see it's quite quite steep. <coughs> I mean considering for what it is, 
as well but again it just loves walking on flatlands and of course definitely downhill get rid of all the clutter just for the sake of just try to spin it back round yeah of course walking downhill like I say it doesn't mind that one bit it gets the most out of the step as well but that is the most simplest walking complicated robot I can come up with again it's very simple design just motors the insides ones turned the ones that are on the inside of the frame and the ones on the outsides on the legs here at the knee joints let's say um, they are just free flowing so you put all the torque you put all the um, strength of it just down to zero and use the motors on the inside to make it move <laughs> Um, with this one, the longer you make this middle joint here that's going round, that's the equivalent of its step. Um, so if it's four or five block lo blocks long, it's going to make essentially a bigger step because it's got to cover a bigger circle. But it will mean it will also lift it higher as well and you may have to make the frame longer to compensate for the space. So it kind of it's got a ratio. But all in all, very simple, very elegant. And if you come across getting these cyber dogs or such, maybe you could just squish them. Yeah, I thought we'd let you enjoy that. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you later.